<laughs> okay, I can, I do fall in love with these dresses. I have more. If I were to choose one word to describe this story, that word has to be <laughs> joy. I told you I had a lot. Joy because of moments like this. I have more over here. <laughs> that laugh. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> the joy. <laughs> the joy in making these dresses by hand. Right, Edna? Well, my goal was always to make them cute. <laughs> <laughs> the joy of talking about what you love. Go ahead. So, um, do you want to know how I started making these dresses? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh again. The joy. Because that's really kind of fun. Your cue to start reading that poem with the title. Joy, it flutters in your heart and, and gives, gives you hope and cheer. cheer. It keeps, it keeps you, going, you going, keeps you smiling, smiling, sings songs of love, not fear. It's the smile plastered on your face. The one, the one that, no, that one no one can erase. Oh, joy, you're truly more pure than snow. When you read this poem for the first time. Oh, it's amazing. I can't believe an 11 year old wrote that. And I've handed that poem to people and they've cried. Avery Berg wrote the poem. Like Edna mentioned, she was 11 at the time. Avery was at Seattle Children's Hospital at the time. Stage four brain cancer. I had a hard time finding the light. Her mom, Christy, challenged her daughter to do the one thing she knew gave Avery joy. She said, Write a poem. I know she loves writing. And um, so I told her it could be about absolutely anything. It could be how much she hates cancer. It could be about eggnogs. Hello. Hello. Welcome. That poem, Joy. Thank you. Is spreading joy two years later. Hi, Michelle. Nice to meet you. Because when I made these dresses, I decided I'm going to have pockets because kids love pockets. Because in the dress pockets, you'll find Avery's poem. Hello. These are for you. <gasps> Thank you so much. Because Edna Bishop donates dresses, lots of them, to Mary's Place, a place for homeless mothers and their children. The girls get to pick. This one? No. OK. I hope you get a yes in here. This one? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> that laugh again. <laughs> They're probably gonna keep them on for like days. Well, we're not gonna be able to get them out of them. <laughs> That's Bailey with her new dress. Well, I guess it's Bailey's now. <laughs> Look at Michelle. Can you read it? Let's listen to her listen. Joy, it flutters in your heart and it gives you hope and cheer. It, it keeps, keeps you going. going, keeps you smiling. It sings songs of love, not fear. The author of joy. It's a smile plastered on your face, the one that no one can erase. And your love will be all that we know. Avery Berg is 13 years old now. Good morning. And she's cancer free. Oh, hey, Avery, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. It's weird that you would have the happiest moment of your life be when your daughter just had a 10 hour brain surgery. Yeah, I was so happy. I just remember that feeling of sheer joy. Avery goes to the same West Seattle church as Edna. Taking your poem to Mary's oh. place. Oh my God, I wish you could have seen their faces, honey. Oh. That's how Edna found out about Avery and the beautiful words we've been listening to. Yeah, it drew out a lot of emotions out of me, I guess. Oh, joy that gives us courage and love. That word again. You're more beautiful than any dove. <laughs> you help us more than you can know. Oh joy, you're truly more pure than snow. John Sharifi. Pretty neat to see her, her words live beyond that moment in that hospital bed. King 5 News.